So guys, I've got it a little bit snug. I've got it in the vise. It turns freely now. I don't, you only hear a little bit of the of the brush, brushes now. And when I do this, I don't know if you can see the meter. But you probably can. And you can see it's working again. Uh, this dynamo, I'm going to put off the irritating meter. You, uh, that's also one thing I've learned on this. Um, the field is uh, powered by the negative. So if you put a wire between negative and the field, then there is a uh, current flowing through the uh, through the uh, fields. Uh, from my fort, it's a uh, it's a Lucas, and um, I'm going to center it a little bit more here. A little bit there, and uh, with the Lucas, um, the positive is uh, is on the is on the field. But internally, the positive of the field is uh, soldered to the D plus, and um, the D field is the other side of the of the field is on that terminal, and when you contact it to the D minus, um, it will put out voltage to your meter. And on the car or on the tractor, it will um, give you voltage to your uh, regulator and then to your battery. Um, but that's with Bosch. Um, that's with uh, different brands. It's uh, it's another way maybe. But um, I found out it's uh, it's good to check it before you um, fiddle with things like this. Well guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been a, a good learning video. It has been a good learning thingy for me too. Uh, because I learned a lot about these dynamos that I didn't know. And uh, that's always nice to know some uh, things new. Um, Next time I'm going to uh, put it on the tractor and uh, see if the balls are uh, snuggly as it is and uh, it already looks a lot nicer than it uh, than it uh, did when it's uh, when it came off. So um, I'm going to leave it with this. I'm uh, going in the house now and uh, that was it for now. See you later guys. To the next video.